guys and thanks for stopping by so I um, have a bunch of pieces I cut all of this on my Cricut um, and it's going to make a coffee pot mini album um, I am going to use it as an embellishment book for a swap that Nati is holding she's um, I want to say Nati she just switched her username. Hold on. Let me see what it is. <laughs> Nati Nati underscore creations on Instagram. And I believe this, I choose Nati Nati creations 28 or something like that on YouTube. I'll put her links in the description box but anyways she's holding a coffee swap and it is an open coffee swap so if you would be interested in something like this um, you would just need to complete the swap and mail it out to her and it needs to arrive by a certain date um, and yeah and you can make one or make two and then you'll receive one or two depending on what you send um, but anyways that prompted me to make a uh, like put together this album in design space on Cricut um, and I cut out all the pieces and I set them all out for the most part um, and I'm going to assemble it with you guys um, I may leave the panels off because I didn't prepare the spine um, so I guess we'll see um, but I am going to go ahead and put this all together with you guys and um, yeah, um, there is a slight difference in the design versus how I made it because I wanted the covers to be kind of thick since it's an embellishment book and it might be a little bit heavy. So this is kind of what it looks like in design space. Um, and I added an additional layer on the covers of this um, it's part of a Frito-Lay box chips um, so that I can so that I can what am I trying to say so that the covers are sturdier and like once it has everything inside it it won't um, like it'll be strong enough to support all the stuff inside and not um, bend or anything like that so I do have this piece of white here and I only did this little face on the front um, and back which will be the covers um, since it's going to be an embellishment book and you won't be able to see it on the other pages or it'll get covered up. And so what I'm doing because I don't want to piece this is I think I'm just going to back it in white and then I'll add like I'll punch out some circles with my crocodile or use some little sequins thingies um, in order to actually let's put the glue on here so what I'm gonna do is I set all of these already out because otherwise it's gonna take a lot longer for me to do this with you so you'll have to sort out your little pieces and everything um, but you know I don't think it's a big deal I just don't want to drag this um, I don't want to drag out this video too much because then I feel like nobody's gonna want to watch it because it's too long uh, so I'm just gonna set that back there see and then I'll do I think I think I'm going to glue this to the front cover first and then um, let me move this up here. Christian made this for me you guys, isn't that so sweet? I, I'm gonna get a acrylic one just because it's more durable and I can just kinda like move it around and stuff um, but in the meantime this is like awesome because it's custom it's made with love from my friend and and I don't have a name tag yet so 
this is awesome for me. Okay, so as best as you can, you're going to want to put this centered. Here, let me zoom in for you guys because I think I can zoom in. And sorry if there's any background noise. That's my baby. He's in the girls' room. And they're kind of watching him. So let's see. I'm going to try to get this as centered as possible. I think that's good. Okay, so that's that. And then I'll put this. And I kind of messed up because I forgot that this needed to be like dark um dark brown because some of the layering pieces depended on that so I might go back later and cut some more of these pieces this piece right here which is like you know the liquid coffee in an extra dark brown like I don't know. We'll see. You'll find out when you see my packing video or whatever for um, Nati. I guess she goes by Nicole, but her name is Nati and she responds to Nati and um, I really like that name, so I call her Nati and she does not mind because... Her name is Natalie, um, but I think her middle name or her nickname or her family calls her Nati or something, so she doesn't really mind. And then I did not detach the the um, handle yet because it's two pieces, which I don't really like. But I left them on the mat so that I don't lose them. So I'm going to just add some glue. And then try to space it as best as I can before I add the other one. So there we go. And then the next one. I don't think I spaced that right. I think I gave it too much room on the edge. But we're going to have to make it work because it's already stuck on. It doesn't look too bad, huh? Oops. Okay, I guess. Yes. Okay, there. We're going to call it good. <laughs> It doesn't look too bad, huh? And then I had another piece. I'm wondering, should I even put this on or should I just leave it? I think... I think I'm going to put it on. I like it. You know, it's creative license, right? It doesn't have to be exactly... A certain way and I think this is already going to be like a kind of unique project because it's not from a die I had to do a lot of editing in order to get this to work and so see this piece you basically would just cut this white piece two extra times. Um, well, actually, four extra times because um, since you have this, then you have to cover the front and the back. Otherwise, you're going to show the box part. So I'm going to put this on there. And I want to make sure to put... Um, like a generous amount of glue, but make sure that you leave a little bit of gap on the edge because otherwise 
when you press it down it's going to squeeze out so you want to give it a little bit of room to be able to squeeze out and just adhere and not come out the side okay so then I don't want this to get on the other pieces so okay we are going to set that there oh my goodness I just wanted to get this done because I asked a friend um, who is extreme, like extremely talented. She's a very, very good paper crafter. Um, she's on a lot of different design teams because she's amazing. And so I asked her for a really big favor, really. And that was if she could pretend like she was doing a design team project and cut this album and make this album um, in her own style or whatever um, so that you know I could kind of show it and she I feel like her touch is like magic oh shoot I was not supposed to glue that down okay so I'll just have to remember not to glue the other side yet because I need to add the spine in and I think I'm going to do like a a spine where you have to glue it between the things and I'm just gonna glue it on the back right here and then attach this back flap so this flap okay so this flap here is going to go on here like this And the nice thing, Nicole said that for the swap, because you have to make an embellishment book to house your swap stuff. Um, but she said that you don't necessarily have to use coffee themed paper as long as you're like crafting to that coffee theme. Like you have to do the coffee theme, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use coffee paper and I did have some coffee paper but I don't I only have one collection and it doesn't have like multiples so I just wanted to make sure yeah I'm doing that right I was like oh no I'm doing it backwards I wanted to make sure that I have enough paper for like the die cuts and that kind of stuff because, you know, you just want to make sure that you're doing the thing, you know. So, yeah, and then I'm so excited because Greeting Farm just had come out with that, um... Is this all the way snug? No, it's not. So, where is this? Come on. Okay, bear with me. Okay, that one was kind of hard, I don't know why. I'll have to use my eraser thingy to try to get that off. Okay. And so I did some of the pages to be interactive, so I'll maybe use foam tape or something to attach the stuff. And then that way, if they wanted to use the album for their own stuff later, whoever gets my package, they will um, 
they will um, be able to use it as an album if they want to. Okay, so that's that. Look how cute. This will be the two sides, right? And this will go on the back of this. And then my spine will go right here behind this, right here. And then when it opens, the pages will basically go like this. And I think I'm gonna allow like maybe half, half an inch. Half an inch, you think? Between Half an inch is kind of a lot, huh? Let's see. Yeah, like half an inch. I think I'm going to do like half an inch between the pages so that um, when there's like this and there's like embellishments and stuff, it will allow enough room for stuff not to get squished. So that's the first page and I'm just going to set this aside. And then the next page is just flat like this so I had originally done a layer like okay so like let's pretend that this is the layering piece but I cut both of them in the pattern paper and I didn't want to waste the coffee side because on the other side it's not coffee, right? And I already used the pattern paper, so I don't want to waste it. Um, so normally what you would want to do is this paper, this layering paper, you want to do it either in a solid. I would probably do a solid, honestly. Or like a pattern paper that you don't care that much about because you're barely even going to see it. See? You're barely going to see it at all. So I am just not going to waste my pattern paper and I'm gonna leave this and just only do this layer right here and I think that still looks really cool so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna do this part first The other thing I was thinking of doing, and I might still do this, is add an eyelet up here and then and then they can just be on a ring because it's a little bit more durable that way I feel like. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Maybe one eyelet or two eyelets or... We'll see. Um, okay, and then this. that aren't these so cute I'd stop drinking coffee but I'm not a quitter coffee 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 I will drink coffee here and there I will drink coffee everywhere may your coffee be strong and your Monday be short I like big cups and I cannot lie right me too me too okay and then okay so this one I did already fold the other one that is like this, but this one is going to be the back of the page. And this one is a little bit interactive. See, this will go here. And although it doesn't line up like perfectly, like this fits right there, right? But then this does not line up necessarily perfectly. 
Um, so I'm just going to use this and bring it closer to that. I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see when I put it on how I like it or not. But this is going to fold like that. The thing is that it's a little bit tricky. So what I've done is I am aligning this corner and pinching it pretty good. And then I'm aligning this part and pinching it really good. And then I'm just going to put my bone folder over it from top to bottom. See? So then it aligns fairly well like that. And you can either do this side or you can do... Or wait, do I have to do this side? I think I have to do this side. And you kind of just line up the straight part right there. And you'll just um, only glue this back part. Okay, so I'm going to line up this part right here and then the sides so that it is all fitting right. I think that's good enough. Okay, and then just be careful in case your glue oozed out a little bit. Right? And then the nice part about this is that both of these patterns are not really directional. So when I do this, the inside has the coffee beans and then the outside has this. And this is just kind of like a neutral. This is not even from the same paper. But again, I'm being stingy with my paper because um, I haven't decided if I'm doing one or two. But... Even if I only do one, I am someone who likes to do one for the hostess, like I want to do one for the hostess, so I actually have to make two embellishment books, and um, and uh, if I decide to do two so that I get two swaps back, I actually have to make three, you know? So I just have to be cognizant of that. Okay, that somehow got a little bit crooked. So I will have to fix that myself because I was sloppy. And it's not because the cut was wrong, because the cut was lining up perfect, but I didn't pay attention well enough, and I don't want those little corners sticking out. So, we're going to do that. And I don't know, I don't know about that right here. So, where is that coffee? Right here? So, what I was thinking... I could add this, or well, even maybe I could add it right here, right? But I don't like it, so I think, I'm just going to leave it like that. I think it still looks cute. It was difficult to measure this and like, align it properly, like with like align it properly and then weld them together so that when they folded they would line up like this and I am actually really surprised because I was kind of anticipating that it wasn't going to fit and then I was going to have to like MacGyver a different solution or something but I think that looks really nice so that will go on the back of this um, afterwards you know what I think I am going to do rings. I think I am. 
So you know what, we're just going to glue this because if I'm going to do rings, then I don't have to wait and glue a spine. And it will make my life easier, so let's do that because there are still more that I'm going to have to make and I know you guys maybe want to see the whole process. Is our second page. Okay, so we'll stick that on the bottom of the stack, the stack there, and then we're on page three. Okay, so this is page three, and what we are going to do, really? Did we not have, oh, that's this other one. Okay, never mind. All right, so, I think we're going to do the same thing. We're going to glue this first. So glue, 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 glue. What I need to figure out how to do is how to speed up my videos because I think that would be nice to like be able to take my time and then just speed it up. And Yeah, but I don't know how to do that yet. Okay, there's that. And we're almost at 30 minutes, you guys. Sorry, I know that your time is valuable. I hope that you guys that are doing Nati Swap, um, if you want to do this, that this is helpful to you. Um, and then same thing but this one I put the coffee cups on the inside and then the the coffee beans on the outside and I like that because then you know it's not identical to the other page but it's it's the same design okay and then the back side okay so the back side is supposed to be interactive I was going to make this a pocket but I think it's going to catch on here so I'm actually not gonna make a, a pocket I'm just gonna close it up and glue the whole thing down like so I'm going to glue this whole piece down. Like this. And you won't actually see this whole piece. But then we're going to glue this piece down. And this piece is going to be a pocket. So I am only going to put, this is also a paper from a different collection, it's from a um, Project Life, American Crafts Project Life papers, 
Um, okay, so this, it will fit exactly on the edge of this other piece. Like this. But it will be a pocket. So you can put stuff in here once it's once it's dry you can fit stuff in there um, and maybe like I'll put die cuts or something like that in there I'm not sure yet I have also uh, made some tags that go along with this it's a coffee pot but I made it smaller um, so you guys will see that and then this is going to be a second pocket so I'm also just gonna put some glue right here on the edge and it'll make it like a little tuck spot and again I'm just lining it up on this semi flat part so that I know that it's all gonna fit and I think I am actually gonna leave a little bit of that edge showing because I, I don't know I just like how that looks and then the same thing is like stuff will fit in here or stuff will fit in here but it still goes with that coffee pot thing and so that will be on the back right here like this oh you know what we could do since I missed that pocket opportunity maybe I'll leave this top I think that's what we're gonna do so I'm only I'm only putting glue like that. And then that space is a pocket now. And I think this album, I like it because it's semi simple, like it's not hard to put together. It is a little bit, you know, time consuming, but it's not hard and it has some fun features without, like, without even embellishing it right now. Obviously, it's going to be more embellished because I'm going to have all kinds of embellishments in it, but that is our, what is that, our third page? And then... Okay, so then we come over here and we have another one that works just like that last one. And so let's do this. I want it to look clean so there's a little bit of frayed part right there. Okay, so... What did I decide? This is going to be a pocket. And since it's going to be a pocket, I do want to make sure that it's glued down really good in the places where it's attached. Okay. There we go. And then we're going to do the same thing. How many of you guys like do your own 
little projects like this using your Cricut. Or, um, because I have been doing like a lot more projects for myself like this to not have to buy dyes or to have a unique project for swaps or whatever. Um, how many of you would be interested in me doing more of these and possibly sharing them? Like, I don't know that I would charge anything for them, just, you know, maybe ask if you could tag me in, in your post or something. So that I could get a little bit more traffic to my page. But, um, I don't think I would, I would charge anything for it. Would you? Um, leave me a comment if you would want to make projects like these like like for example that tulip album that i made or this coffee album maybe the monstera leaf one that i made for eileen if you would like to make some of those Let me know. And then I'll know if it's, you know, worth the time to invest in doing more of these projects for you guys. Or if if I'm boring you to death. Like, maybe don't say it exactly like that because I might, like, get down about it. But, you know, I could do more of these if you guys like these. Isn't that cute? Oh, I think that's so cute. Okay, so like that, and then... What goes on the back of this? This goes on the back of this. And again, okay, so this was supposed to be that layering piece, but there was supposed to be another piece, and so I decided just to... forego the original plan so that I can conserve paper since I only have one of this collection and this is just flat because you know you end up having embellishments that are chunkier and then you're not going to be able to fit those in a pocket. So that's what this is for and if they end up using it for their own album like picture album afterwards they can stick a very nice size picture right there and maybe use some of the die cuts or embellishments that come in the swap to embellish their album later if they put pictures So that's the front page, that's the back of the page, we'll put that under, and then uh, we just have the back cover left. So the back cover looks like this, this is the back side, okay, and then I think... I'm going to do boop. 
Oh, so this is one of those layering pieces, right? Yeah. And I... I will make the next ones with this piece being dark brown so that I don't have this problem. But it just looked weird with just the brown, I feel. See? I guess it doesn't look weird, huh? Then I don't have to cut another one of these. I think we're going to do that because I'm being conservative with my paper. Uh oh, see we're finishing just in time because this baby is wanting a mama. Okay. on just Gracious, you guys. All right, good enough. We'll just keep it. He kind of takes after me, and he has that voice that like projects really far. So even when he's supposedly not being loud, he's really loud. <laughs> So there's that. I think it still looks good. And then we are going to add this piece to this one. I think that was the wrong side. Ah! Okay. I'm just going to glue it to this one because I don't want to deal with it. Okay, good enough. So now I have this piece which goes this way. Oops, sorry, I was out of frame, guys. That doesn't look bad, huh? You ever get these weird little, they're like from the glue or something? Like little, I don't know what you call them.
these little like debris from the glue. I'm sorry if this is not very loud. It's kind of late here. It's like 11 o'clock. And my kids are still up, but um, since it's late, I'm not being super loud. That looks all right, huh? Yeah, that's nice. And then you can stick some embellishments on it, and it'll be perfect. Then, okay, and then, why do I have an extra, oh, because that goes here, duh, okay, um, so I'm going to add that backing for the for the face so let's see And that's good. Good enough. Oh, come on, come on, come on. If you take too long, then your glue will dry, which is not great. And make sure to flip it over if you had any glue that you maybe put in the wrong spot, then you'll just want to wipe it off fast so that you don't see it. Oops. Okay. And then this. Okay. And you know what you guys can do actually? When my tutorials, which are always too long, are too long, just um, go to the little dots on the top right of your uh, like YouTube box and 
put that you want to watch it at like two times speed or three times speed you if you speed it up more than like two times then you won't really understand what I'm saying but I think it's easy enough that you don't necessarily have to know what I'm saying if you're just wanting to see how to glue this together and you don't have that much time to be watching for an hour um, so that's an option okay so I'm gonna line this up here Okay, perfect. And then and I kind of like to obviously go out to the edges so that it ends up being nice and smooth. And all your glue, when it like seeps out or whatever, it will go all the way to the edges and stick better to that cover. Okay, and last piece. So I think what I'm gonna do is just add probably two eyelets right here and um, get some of those, I forget what they're called, like binder rings or something, and have them be almost like a tag flip on the rings. But I want to do two of them so that way it kind of controls the angle that the pages flip. Okay, so there's that. I think that's cute. And then I will make a little eye to go in there. There is one already cut. Um, like in the file, but I just didn't want to deal with that, so I didn't. I like deleted them off the mat. But if you send me a DM on my Instagram at her, her yes, you do have to be following my YouTube and my Instagram, then I will um, send you this file on Design Space. I'll send you the link, and you can make it for yourself. And tag me when you like if you share it. Okay, but that's the back cover. It's like really thick and sturdy. So, I that's what I wanted. Um, that's why I put the box piece in between it. But see, it'll go like this. And then the rings will hold it here and here. And then when I open it like this. Boop. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot to glue this piece. So when I glue, oops, when I open it, you'll have two coffee pots um, facing each other, and then if it's really chunky, you'll just want to get a bigger ring, bigger rings to put on it so that it will support everything. I forgot about that. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And like I said, I just like to go out so that all the glue will go towards the outside. And um, you'll avoid like weird bubbles from the wet glue. And it'll go to the edges so that your edges are nice. But see then, 
these covers because of all those layers and because it has that um, box between it, that box piece. It's really nice. And hopefully it will help your album um, to be more secure and everything. Let's see, so there's our album. And then when it opens, because of where I'm going to put the rings, it will be like this. It'll open like that. Um, and then it'll open like this. And that part will open right here. And this part. I don't think that page was supposed to be there because. Yeah, I think I'm going to move that to right here. Okay, so I'm going to move. Hold on. Let me rearrange these pages because let's do that, I think. I guess we'll find out if it looks good or not. Let's see. Okay. Like this is the front cover, and then you turn it like this, and then this is a pocket here, this is a pocket here, and this is a pocket here. And then you'll turn it. This page is just flat. This has this flap. So far I like it. This one has a pocket here. Whoops, sorry about that. This has a pocket here. And then this has a pocket here. And then this one is flat. And then you turn it. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that this is right there. Um, hold on. I don't want that one there. But I don't want those two together. Yeah, I think it's just gonna have to be like that. Okay, it's gonna have to be like that. Okay, there. And then this one has all the pockets here, here, and here, and then voila. That's the back cover. So I really like how that came out. Let me know what you think, and um, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.